All right, so I'm literally in Lowe's playing on the floor like a little kid. So we got, there would be a pipe coming off here that would go into the barrel. It's gonna come up to a valve, couplers. We either are gonna go um, one and a half, which is under this coupler, or two inch. Uh, there's gonna be a suction hose here to again, the same kind of coupling. This is gonna go into the pump, out of the pump, same coupling again to the discharge hose same coupling again another valve a 90 into another length of pipe and then into the two inch um thread that's on the 55 gallon barrel all right let me show you what i'm kind of working with right now so we have the gas pump it works we have the couple fittings discussed at the store mounted up here. Um, intake discharge. The only problem I've had so far was priming this hose this is 25 feet. And essentially I just had to fill the pump once and then it started sucking. But I think I have a solution for this is to put a valve on this side too. That way, when I store this hose, I can leave oil in it to be already primed. All right, this is at idle, which is pretty cool for being an idle. And I'll crank it up real quick. All right, so then what I tested out was the valve that I made. So it was essentially a you know, PVC pipe going into the tank with like a 45 degree angle cut on it. So it's not gonna just suck bottom and cause a vacuum. And then that attaches to the garden hose, which then goes to the pump and then discharges into the other barrel. And it's been working pretty good. So I'm gonna run to the store, get the couple valves Get a couple garden hoses, that are longer, and then we'll be ready for tomorrow. We got a, a big load to pick up. 